Hey guys, what is up? Oliver Paul BC here. Welcome back to the FIFA 20 Road to Glory. This is episode number 18, and we have a really fun episode today. We're starting off by claiming our first ever Icon Swaps player here in Dunleavy. That was for winning nine games of Twitch Champs. Then we'll open up my Elite 1 Squad Battle Awards, and we'll end the episode by playing the final four games of Twitch Champs to try and get Gold 2 for back-to-back -back weeks. We also have a milestone completed, which is 25 wins in Foot Champs. Uh, which is a two rare gold player pack. So an okay pack. Come on, show us Rafa Varane. We got a French flag last time I asked Rafa Varane, so let's do it again. <laughs> Come on, EA. Give us a Rafa Varane here, please. It's a... Not a flag. Uh, it's going to be... That's a really good pack pool, but it's like the one really good pack pool that's untradeable that I've already made on this account. We're going to have to discard Lozano, who I'm pretty sure is worth like 15k or something. We just get Rebic, who's actually a really good player, to be fair. That's a really good little City app pack there, if you're making like a starter City app squad. That will really help you along the way. Rebic is 6 foot 1, 4 star, 4 star. One of three gold players with 80 plus in pace, shooting, and physicality. And look at those stats, they really speak for themselves. So Rebic might actually make it to our bench. So squad battle rewards are in now, guys. And I actually thought that I'd gotten way above Elite 1. But I think it's because of all the icon swap players, a lot more people playing squad battles. So I think it actually came up really close to 48,000 this week. Thankfully, though, we did have enough, which means you get 30,000 coins and 255k packs. And I say this every time, guys. Squad battles is always worth playing because even like the lower wards, you can play like four games and get good packs. But if you're going to play more than like 10 games of squad battles, you're going to go for Elite 1 because it is by far the best rewards. Like it's got the best packs and the most coins. By far. Like, double coins, and then the packs are, like, twice as good. It's crazy how much better Elite 1 is than the Elite 2. I've never really gotten why it's that much better, but I can get Elite 1 pretty comfortably every week, so I'm not complaining. And that'll be an easy set. Uh, awesome. These first two games should be doable with the Icon uh, Swap Challenges. Our 30k did just come in, so we're up to 51,000 coins now. As you guys can see, we have this silver reward pack from logging the web app, and we have two 25k packs from pre-order. Once again, like usual, I actually forgot about these until I logged uh, back onto FIFA, and they were there before I climbed my squad battle rolls. So I did actually forget about them. <laughs> okay, I forget about them every week. It's always such a nice surprise. Anyway, we'll just start with this silver reward pack. Uh, there's just some logging in the daily web app. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. So we'll just skip this, obviously, since you can't really get anything good out of it. Uh, what do we get out of it, though? We get a for Valley. Okay, so she's got to play for main league. That's pretty good. And a sweet ball. Okay, that's actually one of the better packs I've had <laughs> from the daily login. Thank you. We'll send that to the... Next up, we'll open the pre-order packs first, since the 25k packs are obviously worse than the 55k packs. Hopefully, out of the 255k packs, we can get a walkout. Uh, from memory, last week, my score battle rewards weren't that good. Um, okay, first 25k pack doesn't give us anything great. It's going to be Quintero. I packed that guy quite a bit. What else? Castange and Atal. Okay, Atal's actually not that bad of a player. Uh, he's the fastest right back in the league on. I will keep him definitely for the first on League One challenge. I normally sell all my plays that I get, but I'm actually going to send everything to the club for now um, because of the first on challenges. Um, so yeah, we'll send that to the club and quick sell those that kit and whatever the other thing was. Second rare gold pack. Hopefully it's a little bit better than the first one. Uh, first one gave us 80 rated Quinteros. Hopefully we at least get a flag out of this one or an 81 or 82. That's actually worth something. Could be good too. It's no flag. Is it? No, it's not going to be anyone good. Jordi Massip. I guess it could still be like Adam Militeo in this pack or something, for all we know. So it could still be a good pack, uh, but it's not. <laughs> and now on to the Elite 1 Squad Battle Awards. Obviously, we already got the 30k. Come on, EA. Give us some great packs here. I want to do the Joseph Martinez SPC. That costs about 100k, so we need to get about 50k from these packs to be able to do that. Uh, plus a couple of untradables to have in the club. Okay, we've got a flag. Pjanic or... Oh, Visca. Forgot about him. Uh, I don't think this could be worth anything. He's a decent car, but, you know, he's in a Turkish league and he's Bosnian, so he hasn't exactly got the greatest links. Is there anything in this pack alongside Visca? Not really, but as per the uh, 25k packs... Wow, Visca actually looks really good. And just like the 25k packs, I am just going to send this all into the club for the uh, Icon Swap objectives. We'll send LeCompte up. And 55k pack number two. I know we got a flag in the last pack, guys. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but there wasn't a very good one. So hopefully we can get a good one here, or even a walkout, or an inform, or an icon. Why not? Uh, it's enough for England. Cam. 
It's going to be Dali Alley. I actually don't know if Dali Alley has a value. I assume he does, because he actually looks like a pretty decent box-to-box -box center mid. Hopefully, he's at least 15k or so. That will definitely redeem these rewards. So, we've got a couple 84 redder pop-ups. We'll just get Falcao. Come on, Alley. Have a value. Uh, it might be about 15k, like I said. Okay, maybe like 10 I, 11 or 12k, I think Dali Alley is. As I said, he's an okay box box in the mid. Um, not great. I don't actually like Dali Alley in real life, so I'm definitely not going to use him. Unless I absolutely need to, because I don't have enough first owner Premier League players. That's like the only reason I would use him. And uh, just like the other packs, I will just send everything into the club. And then once I don't need the first owner cards anymore, I will uh, sell them. Um, so yeah, we'll discard those two things. And send the rest to the club. And that does it for those squad battle reward packs. Definitely not that bad. Could have, could have been a lot worse. Uh, I got a couple of nice 84 cards in there. Now we can play our final four games. Or hopefully final three games of foot champs. If we win three in a row. We need to go three and one to get gold two for the second week. And I really like that. Because last night Ginny Van Elden got a brace in a 2-1 win from midfield. And that should be an inform. Uh, last week I was sure there was going to be an inform Milner. Um, so I'm not going to have my hopes about there being a genie in form. Uh, that would be a sick in form, though. It would be 86 rated, so quite hard to get from Gold 3 Rewards. Or Gold 3 Rewards have a better chance, obviously. Opponent number one of the day, 27 overall, has Werner Royce. I haven't actually faced... Oh, maybe once, actually. Uh, that is a pretty damn strong Bundesliga team right there. Werner always crushes me. He's got Gerrard as his manager. For those of you who watched the last video, you know that I used Mo Salah alone in the last game. I have removed him from the bench now. Um, so yeah, we'll bring on Promise as per usual for Taliso. We've gone in for a lunge. He recovers so quick though, he's so much speed on him. Oh, into the box, surely! Oh, it's a good shot by Cruz. I don't really know how that's been the goalkeeper. I'll definitely take it. 15 minutes in, we're on 1 nil up, and Promise hadn't even come on yet. Oh, it's too easy. Come on. That's all from a corner. That shouldn't have even happened. Oh. Oh, come on. Kimpembe won that ball. It was with his hand, but that... What? I need to see a replay of that. Oh, come on. That did not look like a penalty, let alone a red card. He's... I think he's looking down the line. Uh, left? Right. Okay. He got me with the eyes there. That is infuriating. We're going to have to make a sub here, obviously. I don't know why Kimpembe was just sent off for that challenge. It looked like he won a lot of the ball and like none of the player. Uh, so we're going to take Coutinho off here and bring on Hermoso. Yeah, I guess that's what we're rocking with now. Why is Werner so fast? It's not like he has ridiculous pace. He's got like 93, which is pretty... What? How does Ariel not control that? What? What is that? I said in yesterday's video that that Usman Dembele goal was the most triggering of all time. That's worse. What was that? <laughs> it's four. I can't believe I haven't got gold three of this for champs, guys. I hate this team so much. <laughs> Good work by Bale. I don't know what he was doing there, though. I didn't tell him to go wider there. And this game's finally over, guys. 4-1 loss. We got a red card without Kimpembe. We've only got a hat-trick, apparently. He was just unstoppably fast. His defense was ridiculous. Bundesliga looks like it might be the way to go this year, because that team was pretty freaking unstoppable. Ariel had a pretty good game, too. Not the same amount of saves as his goalkeeper, though. Due to Kimpembe's red card, we are going to use Diallo this game. He's definitely a capable replacement. Left footed, 77 pace, 78 defense, 76 physical. He looks decent. I'm not going to put a chemistry style on him just for this one game. So, uh, yeah, let's hop into the second game. We need to win three in a row now. Next opponent has... If it ever loads... Oh, no. Is that Griezmann up front? And uh, Usman Dembele, Ben Yedder. It's Mbappe. Even better. <laughs> Mati. Oh, boy. We might not be getting gold two this week, guys. He's got a bat bay, but then he has a lone Van Dyke and Sergio Roberto. That's quite random. Let's do a different sub here. It's not really working out right now. So let's bring Wesley on from the get-go. He hasn't played a full 90 minutes yet for me. And let's make Bale play Cam. Maybe that would be better. Did he just sub Martial off? Hazard! Sick. <laughs> oh, Bale plays in Benyetta beautifully. 
didn't actually think that was going to work as well as it did. We got Virgil van Dijk to worry about, though. That's a big thing to worry about. And yet it dismisses him, though, and we get a 1-0. We go 1-0 up with Wesley. This man just can't stop scoring when he comes on off the bench. That was my fault. Time in time to pass right there. Oh, uh, Virgil van Dijk coughs it up, of all people. He probably went back here, though. No, he lunges. Waiting for the overlap. Ben Yedda. Could be an assist for Wesley. And it is 2-0. Wesley's involved again. And there we go, guys. We get the nice 2-0 win there against the team with Hazard, Van Dijk, and Mbappe in it. Uh, so the goal two dream is still alive. Game number three. We have Kempembe back in the team now. Oh, no. Oh, that is a very, very good team. Oh, Wesley. This is the position I like Wesley to be in. Look at that trucking. Far post. Surely Bale. There we go. That's all Wesley. What a machine he is. Carvalho is so good. He'd be like maybe the one player who stays in the team from this foot champs. Oh, and Thea Hernandez. The two fullbacks. Oh, come on. I was right in front of Benzema. Who even uses Benzema? <laughs> Oh, Martial's going way too easily there. Oh, of course it comes straight back to Benzema. What are you doing, Harry? Oh, oh my god. What is that goal? What is this whole foot champ? This has been so crap like that. I mean, we need a goal here. That's a red card. Come on. That is filth. A warning. He did not just get a warning for that. Come on, EA. Oh, my God. And another rebound for the collection to end our foot champs. This has been the most undeserved 4-1 loss I can remember. I, don't, I keep getting 4-1 losses, and I'm not even playing that badly. This team is really letting me down. And obviously, guys, that loss does mean that we can no longer get gold, too. I will play the fourth game anyway. Um, just to hopefully get another win towards the milestone. Uh, it's just Ariola, man. He's just really, really let me down. And the rest of the team doesn't exactly make up for how bad he is either. And finally, game number 30. David De Gea. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All I can do is laugh at this point, really. I mean, it's like every chance my opponent has is a goal, no matter who the player is. And I can have golden opportunities with my 99 finishing Gareth Bale. And something will go horribly wrong for me. Good first touch by Benyetta. He can lead us up to Bale. This should be one all. And it is. That's a great finish by Gareth. That's as good as... Oh, wow. Oh, yep, there it is. Sissoko always scores his right foot against me. I've got no idea why. He's brought on Traore. Oh no. Oh my word. Oh, what has Ariola done there? Is this going to be another 4 1 loss? Why have we gone so many of those this foot champs? Please just blow the whistle, ref. Please. I just don't want to be playing this game anymore right now. With this team, especially. I'm so done with it. Oh, thankfully that game is over, guys, and that means the foot champs is over. So we get like our seventh full one loss of this foot champs. I swear. I don't like to put the blame on just one single person, guys. But the sole reason I believe I got gold three this week as opposed to gold two last week is the goalkeeper. I had Neuer in net last week, in case you don't know, and I had Ariola in net this week, and he was six or seven times worse, unbelievably bad. And Neuer was. Good. He wasn't like fantastic. He didn't save everything. But he got like, you know, eight or nine saves a game. Ariel got like three every game. And the three saves would be crappy parries that would just be a rebound goal. It was almost better when Ariel didn't save it. Ah, oh, anyway, that does it for this foot champs. I'm definitely selling that team. We've got 15 wins. At least we get gold three. So we get two mega packs. You know, what, rare players? 50k packs, actually not bad. Uh, 30k coins. And then the two uh, red player picks. Hopefully we can get a red inform by Naldum. That'll definitely cheer me up. For those of you who are like me and are interested into the stats of the weekend league and stuff like that, I didn't do like an in-depth uh, stat tracking, but I did tra keep track of how many goals and assists my players got. Shockingly, out of the starting eleven, only four different people scored. Uh, Cruz got three goals. Cusina got eight goals. Bale got seventeen, which is really bad for him. 
Uh, ben Yedder got 21 goals. Assists, Ben Yedder got 16 assists. Coutinho got 6 assists. Bale got 8 assists. Cruz got 5 assists. Bakio got 2 assists. And Talisa got 2 assists. And you guys can see on the screen right now what everyone did. Uh, obviously, everyone played 30 games except for Kempembe because he got a red card. And, um, yeah, Ben Yedder was the only player who did anything. And even Ben Yedder wasn't absolutely fantastic. I know this stats seem pretty good, you know. Ben Yedder had more than one score involved in every game on average. But he was the only one who had that really pretty, really shocking by this team. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that will do it for today's episode. Off camera, I am going to list every single player in my club that isn't first owner. I'm just going to keep first owner players for the objectives for the icon swaps. So, um, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do a like. If you want to see more videos, including next episode, we'll have a big chunk of coins, probably well over half a million to build a new team. Then please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.